guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to do a video about my uh, list for the year. Um, coming out of the national, I finished it. So I wanted to walk through that and then talk about uh, some of my goals, I guess, moving forward since I kind of checked the boxes on, on the previous list a little early. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the list and check out some cards. All right, guys, so here are my 2024 goal cards. You know, when we talked about this earlier in the year, one card a month for 12 months. So as you see, here's the list. So let's show some cards in the order that uh, I picked them up. So first, my January pickup, the 1954 Bowman Mickey Mantle. My February pickup, the 1941 Playball Joe DiMaggio. My March pickup, the 4849 Leaf Joe DiMaggio. The April pickup, 1940 Playball Joe DiMaggio. That's when I was working on the DiMaggio run obviously. <laughs> the uh, May pickup was the 51 Burke Ross Joe DiMaggio. The June pickup was the 52 Burke Ross Joe DiMaggio. So that with some of my other DiMaggios kind of finished up the majority of my DiMaggio run with one little exception and we'll get to that here momentarily. The uh, July pickup was the 1950 Bowman Jackie Robinson. Love this card. I think that's such an awesome image of him. And then the August pickup is the 1953 Tops Jackie Robinson. Picked this up from my buddy Don, Field of Dreams cards. Obviously, the months in which I say I picked them up were... Not necessarily the month I actually got them, but just based on the order for the 12 months, sort of how it's playing out. So September pickup. So obviously we're not even in September yet, but the 34 Gowdy Gehrig, number 61. This is the uh, batting pose with the green background. The October pickup. I got it at the National way ahead of schedule, the 1934 Gowdy Gehrig. This one is the number 37, yellow background with smiling face. Love this card, super glad to pick this one up. And then the November pickup was the last one for that I was looking for for the DiMaggio's. This is the 37 exhibits four on one. This one's an awesome card, shows four awesome Yankees. But uh, for me, it's a little extra special because it's Gehrig's very end of his career. DiMaggio is very beginning of his career. Super great card to have both of them from on playing days. So I was super happy to pick this up. It took me forever to find the card. It's a blank back. It took me forever to find it. Glad I found it at the National. So we'll call that my November pickup. And then my final pickup for that list for the year, my quote unquote December pickup, also another National pickup, was this one, the 52 Tops Jackie Robinson. Super, super pumped to have picked this card up. Absolutely love this card. It is one of my favorite cards ever made. I'm just ecstatic that I've got it in the collection. So there we go. Knocked out the 2024 list a little early. So now I need a plan moving forward. That being said, I came up with a list of cards that I would love to add to my collection. Um, I'm not really going to time box this list because uh, this one will take some time to complete. But uh, the list includes... As you can see, the N173 Old Judge Dan Brothers, 1951 Bowman Mickey Mantle Rookie Card, 1933 Gowdy Babe Ruth number 181, that's the green background, the T206 Ty Cobb Portrait with the green background, the T206 Christy Mathewson Portrait, any Hall of Famer from the N172 Old Judge set, and there are a lot to choose from. In this example, I just happened to show the Delahanty, but there's a bunch. I just want a Hall of Famer from that set in the collection. Uh, the 1933 Gowdy Ruth number 144, the batting stance, and the T206 Walter Johnson portrait. So that being said, I got a jump on that list. 
So I picked up the N173 Old Judge Dan Brothers. I actually got this as a Father's Day present for my dad, which is super cool of him. Recent pickup, showed this one recently, but the 51 Bowman Mickey Mantle rookie card. Another awesome pickup. I'm just super, super thrilled to have this one in the collection. And then my last national pickup, the 1933 Gaudi Babe Ruth, number 181, the green background. Got this one from Stan. Super pumped to have that one in the collection. So there you have it. A little bit of progress made on the new list. We'll see what comes next. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, showed the cards I hit for the list this year. Super pumped to have those. Got my new list going. Um, like I said, that one's not really time box because I don't know when I'm going to be able to get some of these cards. But uh, these are the goals for me, you know, moving forward for now. Um, I'm sure it'll change. But for now, that's where it's at. Uh, made a little progress against it so far. We'll see how it goes. So hope you guys enjoyed that. If you enjoyed the video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. If you are subscribed, I appreciate your subscription. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.